Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back for floss tube number 20. Today is December 16th. Um, it's a Monday afternoon, and I was looking at my schedule, and I'm actually off every Monday until the end of January. Okay, I work one Monday. Something. I'm mostly off Monday, so I think I'm going to film Monday afternoons while Thomas is at work. That way the house is quiet. And I forgot to shut the door again. So, we will be assisted by Isabella today. Um, Bella. Uh, gonna start off with, I don't know, I didn't really plan this. Uh, let's go with 2020. I mentioned in my last video I was gonna do 300,000 full coverage stitches next year. I've amended that a bit. I'm still aiming for 300,000, but I have that set as 225,000 out of 300. I want to aim for full coverage. The rest can be on other projects. That just gives me a little bit more wiggle room for a break. You'll see in my whips that I hit a project and I stopped stitching for days because I just wasn't feeling it and I needed a full coverage break. So it'll allow me breaks and it'll allow me to do challenges in all the challenge groups because, you know, who doesn't love the challenge groups? I'm addicted, I do them all. And I, I go through phases where sometimes I'm like, meh. And then like today I wanna do every challenge in all the groups. So I think it's kinda nice to have Mondays off cause they all start Monday at midnight or midnight, whatever their time zone is. So yeah, gonna still aim for 300,000, just giving myself a little wiggle room on what I'm working on. Cause I was typing up my whip list and I have so many projects I wanna work on I want to work on all the full coverage too, but I have so many other smalls, and if I only did full coverage next year, I might not get any finishes. She's like a boomerang. I put her down here, she comes back up. It's a never ending cycle. Our desk is a big T shape, so you're currently filming from in front of my computer monitor, and then Thomas's is mirrored, so his computer's over there, and then we have a big desk between us too, so I get lots of space, but it's very good for boomerang cats. Yes, boomerang cats. Want to show them some stuff? Are you going to help me hold some stuff up? And now little ones in here crying too. Look at that. Cats. Uh, something I feel like I was really silly that I didn't show you guys last time. Okay, Bella. Oh, fat cat down. You going to be good? Lay down, sweetie. Uh, it was my big finish over the summer. You guys probably all have seen this on Instagram, but I finished my first Hade, No Smoking, by Randall Spangler. I need more arms. Or not to roll my projects. I finished him, I believe, in July. He looks absolutely amazing. I plan to get it professionally framed. It's a gift, but it's not gonna be given for a while, so I got time. It still isn't, hasn't even had a bath yet. But yes, that was my big finish over the summer. I've had a few small finishes, like I finished uh, hands-on design months, uh, the hello there. I did hello February. Uh, I finished up Hello December. These all still obviously need their buttons and ironing. Um, Hello April. Hello November. A lot of these um, I did Mo Sale on because I've been totally addicted to Mo Self Loss. Um, last year she had this huge lot of random bobbinated skeins for one bulk price. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll take those and ship them, please. I got lucky because a lot of people wanted them and I was the first one to comment, so she shipped them to me. Reasonable price, quick shipping, and now I'm on her auto order for next year because I adore her floss. So yeah, I finished a lot of little stuff, but this was my big one, no smoking. And I filmed just last week, two weeks ago? Last time I filmed it, I felt really silly for not showing you guys. So that 
is done. It's a little hayed, but it's still 12 pages, mostly full, because even like the bottom row of partial pages was almost a full page. So I finished a hayed, guys. I finished a hayed. Maybe I'll finish one this year in 2020 as well. I might get lucky, probably not though. So let's move on to the good stuff. Whoops. I worked on seven projects since the last time we spoke. Um, I'm currently participating in an event in Semi Sane called uh, Pick My Whip. So one of the admins is picking my whip every three days for me or whenever I feel like changing, which is usually three, four days. Um, every day, except for like the past week. I stitched and I was doing great and then I hit Ninja Dragonlings and I lost all desire to stitch. I don't know why I love that project, um, but it's a max color. So it's like, let's do five stitches of this color, six stitches of this color. And so you're stitching all night and you only end up with 120 stitches. And it's like, what? Because normally I do like three, three, 250, 300 an hour, depending on the project. So doing less than 200 in an evening of stitching is just, it drains me. So I stopped stitching for three days, spent a lot of quality time playing with my Xbox, which is great because it's highly neglected. Um, so I started stitching again two days ago when the new Magical Stitches stuff showed up. I'm like, oh, now I have to stitch because I'm super excited for 2020. And I haven't started working back on Pokemon yet. Yes, we're gonna show them. You wanna hold up your end? Yes, I talk to my cats. I have full on conversations with them. She's been in a I need to be on you kind of move the last few days. So I haven't been working on Pokemon every day, but since the last time you saw it, I've done about 2000 stitches. Yeah, I know it's black and white like you. So I finished up this row here and then I started in up here. I think I have about two and a bit more rows to go. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, Robin, you're gonna go down. She's trying to climb me right now. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so I am hoping if I do my one length a day, I should be done all the black sometime in January. And then I can move on from there. I'm not sure how I'm going to work the rest of this. I might just like start color completing bottom up. Just for simplicity. Because it is massive and it is hard to hold. Um, so yeah, I did about 2,000 stitches on that. I plan to do my strand today on it. I also have it fitting into some homework stuff. So that's good. Next up. Another thing I realized. I need to label my whips because I have about 20 full coverage and they all look exactly like this with random smatterings of colors and it took me 15, 20 minutes the other day to figure out what whip was what so I could pull it to work on it. So this is Ninja Dragonlings. Or, bleh. See, I got my ninjas on the brain. This is Little Dragon's Fire. What do you know, paid? Artwork is Sheena Pike. I did about 1,100 stitches on her. Uh, I did show you guys this last time. So her horns are really coming in. And I did a lot of work in this area on the tail. That's a lot of really bright pinks I was not expecting. Because she's very red and brown. And got some wing curly cues going on. She is super fun to work on. Uh, let me see. I'm tracking my stats on these because Pattern Keeper is amazing. I am currently sitting at 3.24% complete. And I'm currently working on the colors with 200 stitches. I don't sort by most to least um, because there is no way to do that with a floss list in Pattern Keeper. So I just skim through and anything with 200 and some stitches I do in numerical order down the list. So I might do a color with 290 stitches then a color with 210 stitches. I just block it into the groups of hundreds. So when I start off like Ninja Dragon Lanes, 
I'm in the colors under 100 stitches, which is, this is my least favorite part of a project. When I get into the five, six hundreds, that way I do one or two colors in evening and I feel like I've done something. I get a color completion and I get a good stitch count. That makes me feel accomplished. It's just so many of my projects are at the phase of less than 100 stitches because I went nutty on Mania and started a ton of stuff. And so they're all kind of at the same phase. So hopefully I can get a lot of them out of this under 100 stitches phase. Because it's rough. It's rough. I know. And it was so rough I considered parking. Which, if you know me, uh-uh. I don't park. Love looking at it. Like, the people who do park. Freaking amazing. I love how it looks. But I've tried parking on small full coverage. And it's not me. Because I can't wrap my brain around... Well, I'm putting the thread here to start the stitch. Why am I not doing the stitch? Like It just... I'm a cross-country stitcher. I'm a color completer. I like getting that color done and back in the bobbin box and not having to touch it again. That's how I stitch. That's how I've always stitched. Even when I was a little kid, I always liked to get all of one color done. And then I could wrap my thread back up, put it away. And that has translated into me being an ECC stitcher. Next up, big one which was all colors under 100 stitches, so, you know, progress is gonna look phenomenal on this, is Amazing Animal Kingdoms, Amy Stewart. This is regular size max color. You aren't gonna be able to see it all, but I'll just... So I did a lot up in this corner. I think this is where the gorilla is. A little bit of jungle scene coming across. There's a lot of blue here. Did a lot, I did a lot in this corner. Um, <laughs> See, my whips are so much to look at. Just, can you tell how I can't figure out what's what? Just random smatterings of color. I'm trying to roll and hold this up at the same time and not chew on my whips. Um, there's a squarish looking block there. I think that's a, probably a book. And then did some pink there. Did some more down there. I almost need like a board to hold this stuff up on, especially these big ones. Yeah, so it looks like absolutely nothing, but I promise you this will be Amazing Animal Kingdoms when it's done in about a decade. Um, I did 1,456 stitches on this, so probably about 20 completed colors, which is awesome. I am currently sitting at 0.48% done, half a percent, woohoo! And I am still in the stitch colors uh, that are 100 and some stitches. Last big whip is the infamous, or I talked about it way too much today, Ninja Dragonlings. Not as massive as Amazing Animal Kingdom. I felt like this whip was bigger. That's why I kept looking at it saying, no, that's not it. Putting it down and continuing to dig because I didn't think this was it. So here we go. I did... 551 stitches in three days, which is abysmally low for me compared to my other projects I work on. Um, but this is a pretty extensive, like I get a lot of colors with four stitches and all four stitches are on four different pages. Like really? So Isabella, lay down or go. There we go, nothing too concrete. Um, yeah, just a lot of random orangey and blue colors. Mostly because one of the girls is red, one of the girls is blue. Down, go down, down. I actually did a lot in this area here. There's a lot done there, there's a lot done there. These are actually the eyes 
on one of the dragon tattoos. That's really cool. And not a whole heck of a lot at the bottom. Where most of the stitches are is in like the areas of the girls' faces and hair. So it's nice to see that their faces are probably going to be one of the first parts that pop out. And really, guys, next time remind me to lock the door. <laughs> because they're pests. Um, next thing I worked on full coverage wise, I pulled out Museum Shelf. Um, I know you guys just saw this recently, but I did this little speck of orange right here. Um, Magical Stitches had a challenge to do twin projects. So I was already working on Animal Kingdom, so I decided to pull out another bookshelf. Yes, because we all need multiple bookshelves. So I worked on Amy Stewart Museum Shelf. Then... Isabella. We need to get a counter on screen on how many times I put her down in a video. Um, I worked on my Ink Circles map. Another prompt was for something repetitive or repeating. So I worked on my Mysterious Adventure project. Just dropped all the floss out of there. Um, pick that up later. Uh, huh. This was a new start this summer, so you guys probably have not seen this unless you follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's all basically a randomly generated map. You roll dice and you follow instructions. So I worked on the border on the right hand side a little bit more. Um, this is so far 310 black and almost sale. Uh, fabric is Barbara L. Creations, opalescent, fabric of the month, absolutely love it. It looks like sparkly sand, which I thought would be great for a map. And she sounds so upset when I put her down, like she thinks this is going to be the time she lets me stay up. No, no it isn't, Bella. And the only reason she's up here is because I'm talking. She gets like that too. If I talk on the phone, she freaks right out. Ugh, excuse my reach. Had to pick up that thread before. A cat decided it was a toy. And now the last thing I am working on, which is very seasonal, is my Santa's House by Tiny Modernist. I'm using this for a ton of challenges because, well, obviously it's Christmas and there's a lot of winter theme challenges going on. Um, it's my only Christmas whip. So, having a lot of fun working on it this time of year. Um, this is the first time I'm actually backstitching as I go. I've, I don't mind backstitch. I don't dread it or anything. But I normally I was always taught, leave your backstitch till the end. But that darn snowman was just too cute. And I had to backstitch him. And then I decided I was done the sleigh and everything in it. So I started backstitching that. And now I am working my way kind of up on an angle like I'm completing kind of going like this uh, I'm gonna start working on Santa in the top because the challenge is um, final design of a collection so that was the last part of the sow released so I'm gonna do that for magical stitches today probably do the rest of the homework today cuz you know I'm off and day off and I have a really crap shift tomorrow, so I'm making the most of my day off by not doing anything productive other than stitching, because I know tomorrow is going to suck. But, you know, we'll get through. Going to the gym after work, I'll be okay. Um, going forward, rest of December plans. Just gonna keep up with letting Semi Sane pick my whip. Uh, probably after Santa's house, I'm gonna switch back to full coverage. Maybe some that are a little less mind-numbing. I'll give her choices of ones that are a little further along so I can actually see some progress. Um, then on December 26th, 12 Days of Hade starts, which is another group I'm in. Uh, the premise is 12 new Hade starts in 12 days, which 
no, I don't need 12 new hate starts. I don't even have the fabric for that. And one, two, three stitch has been out for like a month. So no worries there. I'm not doing 12 starts, but I do have 15, well, 13 current hate whips plus two that have fabric that I intend to start. So it's going to be 15 days of hate for me. But basically every day I'm going to spin my tiny decisions, let it pick a whip, and then remove that whip from the rotation. Because I don't want to pick the same one twice. I want to work on all of them. So I'm thinking I might do a bit more of a vlog style starting at the end of December after Christmas. So I can actually point to you what parts I actually got done every day. Because two weeks later I'm not going to remember what random blue blob I stitched. Being honest here, that's the joys of extreme cross country. Don't remember what I stitched. It's all confetti at this point in my life. And also on December 26th, super excited to be starting this because we have been waiting forever. The initial plan was I was going to start it when I was in Scotland, but we had some fabric issues. So Mirabilia Woodland Goddess. I know I'm such a mirror stitcher now. I got two. I have her fully kitted up. I am doing her on this beautiful, beautiful uh, 32 count Mercedes Lugana. And I got all the bling for her and everything and man, she is blingy. That is a big bag of bling. I have like one, two, three, four spools of Krynik in here. At least a dozen packets of beads. And I also splurged and got the two Karen, what are they? Water lilies, which are just going to look so nice on this fabric. I cannot wait for the 26th. I did pick up a shift though, because I can't give up holiday pay. But after my shift, it is all Woodland Goddess. Um, so yeah, if you would like to join us, there's several of us doing it. Um, I think we're hashtagging it Horny Goddess Sal. I'll double check on that. I'll put the hashtag up here. Um, and if I just made up the hashtag, we're going to go with Horny Goddess Sal. If you guys are doing this project with me and have a problem with that, let me know. We'll change it. So, thank you everyone. I hope to see you next week for another update on what I've been doing. If not, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and hope you guys find some stitching time and all the holiday craziness going on. Thank you everyone.